During the late 70s and throughout the 80s, actress Dana Hill made a name for herself on both the big and small screens. While most people recognize her as Audrey Griswold II from National Lampoon's European Vacation, by the time she landed that role, Dana was a seasoned, grizzled showbiz veteran. In fact, I think I remember her best from a television movie called Fallen Angel. Hey, watch the birdie. Bet you photograph exactly like Olivia Newton-John. More on that flick in just a bit. Anyway, by the time that Dana was a teenager, she had seen all of the good things as well as some of the not so great things that Hollywood had to offer. But as usual, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So let's jump in Doc Brown's DeLorean and go back to where it all started. Dana Hill was born on May 6, 1964 in Encino, California. She grew up in a showbiz family. Her dad made a living directing TV commercials, and because of that, she caught the acting bug early on. But that wasn't Dana's only dream. You see, Dana was a gifted track and field athlete. At the age of 10, she placed third nationally in the 880-yard run and fourth in the mile. However, it was around that same time that Dana was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Because of the health challenges that disease presented, she decided to give up on her athletic dreams so that she could dedicate all of her time to the craft of acting. After appearing in many commercials during the mid to late 70s, Dana made her television debut in 1978 on an episode of Mork and Mindy. Other guest appearances would follow and then in 1981 Dana had a banner year. Her breakthrough role was in that year's television film, Fallen Angel. Dana had always looked younger than she actually was, and because of that, Hollywood recognized that they could cast her as characters that were supposed to be much younger. In Fallen Angel, Dana played a 12-year-old when she was 17. The makers of that movie loved it because Dana was much easier to direct and work with than a younger actress would most likely have been. The topic of the movie is a sensitive one. I'm not going to go into the details here. I will say, however, that Dana was praised by many critics for her work in that movie. And at least for a time, it really seemed like she was on top of the world. After Fallen Angel, Dana was cast in a sitcom called The Two of Us with Mimi Kennedy and Peter Cook. The show had a very talented and very funny cast. Unfortunately, it didn't last long. And so Dana moved on to other projects. I remember seeing Dana on shows like The Fall Guy and Magnum P.I. during the mid-80s. And then came the role of Audrey Griswold in National Lampoon's European Vacation. Dana was wonderful in that movie as the sarcastic and rebellious teenage daughter of the Griswold family. She stole scenes and won over audiences with her wit and charm. However, it wasn't all peaches and cream while making that movie. There is a moment in that film, a dream sequence, where Dana is stuffing her face with food nonstop that was actually pretty dangerous for her due to her diabetes. Throughout the filming of that scene, Dana had to be ever so careful not to swallow any of the food that she was supposed to be eating. You would think after the success of the vacation movie, Dana would have been able to do whatever she wanted. But the truth of the matter is that Hollywood is a fickle beast, my friends. By 1990, Dana was in her mid-twenties, and she just wasn't able to land roles as a teenager anymore. Because of that, Dana made the transition to voice acting. Her most famous role was that of Max Goof in Disney's Goof Troop. But she was also heard in all sorts of other animated shows like Mighty Mouse, Pound Puppies, Darkwing Duck, and until her death in 1996, Duckman. Yep, you heard me right, until her death. So let's be clear, folks. Diabetes sucks. And type 1 can be particularly nasty at times. As Dana got older, the disease took a toll on her body and her career. And then in May of 1996, Dana slipped into a diabetic coma and then suffered a massive paralytic stroke the following month. On July 15, 1996, Dana Hill left this world. Truthfully, I don't remember hearing anything 
about her untimely death at the still very young age of 32. But you know what? Hollywood can be like that. It's a business, and quite frankly, it just moves along and finds someone else to cast a spotlight on. So unless you are an absolute superstar, actors are, for the most part, perceived as something of a commodity. And with Dana's passing, there were other voice actors ready and willing to step up and take on whatever roles would have come to her next. And there's nothing really wrong with that. It is just sad, heartbreaking really, that Dana's time in front of those bright, dizzy lights of Hollywood was just so darn brief. All right, now it's your turn. Do you have a favorite Dana Hill memory, TV show, movie, whatever? If so, please share it in the comments section. And while you're there, I would appreciate it if you clicked on that little thumbs up icon. And maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and one more thing, totally unrelated to this video. What I wouldn't have given to see a sitcom during the late 70s with both Daniel Spencer and Gary Coleman in it. That would have been a true treat. Thanks to all my channel members for clicking on that little join button and showing their support. You are, each one of you, truly appreciated.